Hey guys, it's Brie. So first of all, I just want to start off by saying, if my voice goes funny in this video, I'm really sorry. I've still got a cough, it's much better, but now my voice is doing this weird thing when it suddenly does this, and then I'm this, and I'm like this, so apologies. Uh, if my voice sounds funny, that's why. Um, but today's video is going to be on the Femi cycle, and some of you might remember I did a video on this a while back, I think it was November 2013, a long time ago, that I did a review on this cup. But since then they've come out with two other styles, um, or variations I should say, of their cup, so I, they contacted me, I think it was in June, and said, hey, would you be willing to re-review um, this thing again, and tell us what you think of the new one, so I said, yeah, you know, sure, send them to me, and I'll do a video review on them as well. So, they sent me quite a bit of stuff, so I'm just going to go through some of the things I sent as well beforehand. So first of all, they sent me this leaflet, with all the different things about Femicycle, it basically just says what it is, like Femicycle can be used by most women, blah blah blah, it's a patented and FDA cleared cup. And they also sent me a letter, which I won't point out because it just says stuff to me. And then this, they also have a DVD here. This made me laugh. Um, how to use the Femi Cycle. This is all things that are supposedly on the TV. Haven't watched it because the thing says how to use the Femi Cycle. And originally I thought it just had all different languages on it. And I was like, well, I don't need to watch that. Like, let's be real. I'm the queen of menstrual cups. So I don't need the video on how to use them. But it says how to use the Femi Cycle, Femi Cycle infomercial, Femi Cycle features on the Discovery Channel. Diva Schoon and Femi Cycle Cup Comparison, and then this last one that made me laugh. 11 year old using the Femi Cycle. I'm guessing that's kind of like to convince you all that you can use this cup no matter what age you are, but it still made me chuckle when I saw that. So they told me when they sent me this box that it was a mock-up of the new style they were coming out with. So this was in June, I don't know if it's already available in the style, sorry you can hear my voice going already. Um, but this is what it looks like. Just information on the cup and all that kind of stuff. Inside, you get this pouch which just snaps open and is made from some kind of like mesh material. You also get some instructions. So, they look like this, and they've got some diagrams on the back. And of course, if that's still no use, then you can always look at my channel because you have me. So, the three cups they sent me this is the Femi Cycle Regular, or kind of like their original cup, the one they first came out with. It looks like this, and as you can see, it's a very, very wide and bulbous cup. Next they came out with the low cervix Femi Cycle, I think. Which you can see is just like a squished version of it with a shorter loop that is literally just squished. Um, this is just designed so you hook your finger through and pull it out. Like that. And it's a little bit wider too. I'll put them this way. You can kind of see them. There. Not much but a little bit. And then they also have the T. Femi cycle, which has the normal size loop but is a little bit more scaled down. Actually, it's better to be compared to the regular. There, you can see the slight difference. So, I tried this one out in November and I didn't really like it just because it's so big and I'm very, very sensitive when I'm on my period. Like, my vagina is all swollen, it doesn't like being shoved with like big things, and this is huge. So yeah, even when you fold it up, it's just, it's still quite big. So I just didn't really get on with it. Um, larger menstrual cups in general just don't seem to work with me. Maybe it's because I'm quite petite, but I am also a teen. So I didn't get around to trying out the low cervix cup this month, but I did try out the teen one. And a um, little bit of a story to this. I always try out my new cups or new products on the last days of my period just because I'm quite uncomfortable in the first few days. I'm very crampy and all that kind of stuff. So... I always try them out on the 4th or the 5th day of my cycle. I tried this out on the 5th day of my cycle, which usually I'd just be spotting for. So I thought, well, it'll give me a good chance to kind of like, just see how it fits and all that kind of stuff. And I inserted it. I think they recommend you insert it like this. Personally, I think this is huge, even for like a teen cup. So I always insert it like this. Squished flat, with plenty of lube on it, so it's nice and flat, it goes in easily. Sorry about my voice, I can't help it. Um, so it goes in easily, and then just pops open. However, it doesn't pop open like this. It pops open, and then it's like this. It's like squished. And no matter what I did, like pressing on it, opening it, pulling it up and down, would not get it to fully open. So I thought, well, they say it doesn't have to be fully open for this to work, but I never quite believed that. I always thought, you know, how is it going to not leak if it's got a big dent in the side like this? Surely the blood's just going to come gushing down there, and then I'm going to have Niagara Falls in my underpants. 
But um, I put it in, I left it in there, I just put a panty liner on for backup and then I left it in for the whole day because on my fifth day, as I said, I just spotted and you can wear this thing for up to 12 hours. So I left it in and then I had a tiny, tiny, tiny spot of blood on my panty liner so I thought, well maybe I just didn't bleed that much today. I took the cup out and lo and behold, it was full up to here with blood and it hadn't leaked. It had, hadn't leaked at all because that tiny, tiny bit of blood was just from like um, you know, around the cut, the smooth sound, just kind of like bloody discharge and stuff. It wasn't actually menstrual blood that had leaked. So I was very, very impressed with this cup. It didn't leak at all. It wasn't uncomfortable. I did have to push it up higher, but even though it's a teen size, I didn't have to cut off the loop, which I was pretty, pretty impressed with because usually I have to cut off stems with all menstrual cups. So I do have to say the Femi Cycle is in my good books now. Before I didn't like it because it was just so big. It didn't really work for me, um, and I was 15, 16, 16 when I tried it out, and it just, it was huge, it just, it just did not work for me. But now they have another size, and it's a teen size, this one did work for me. So actually, yes, I would recommend this cup. Would I recommend it to a really young teenager, or a teen who hasn't used it before? No, I probably wouldn't. I would probably recommend this cup to people who have lighter periods, have had experience with using menstrual cups before if you're a teen, or that they are sexually active in some way because it really does require a little bit more knowledge to get this cup in and to get it open and all that kind of stuff and to trust it but um, it's definitely possible and I think as long as you smother lots of lube on it or you're just willing to be very patient with it then yeah I would definitely recommend it um, do take into account though if you are older and you have a heavier flow but low cervix this would definitely be the one for you to try and the regular I think for just normal like heavy flow not low cervix, it would work for you there. So basically, just take into account what your body is, your age, all that kind of stuff when you're picking one of these. Generally, I tend to say, take into account your heaviness, not your age, like the heaviness of the flow. If it's light, go for a smaller size. If it's heavy, go for the bigger size. But um, this time I would say, take into account. <laughs> take into account your age as well as just the size because it really does make a difference. But thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this helpful, please subscribe and I will see you later, bye!